How are you guys considering the long-term effects on students who can't return to the classroom? Like you said, a number of students thrive and learn best in classroom settings, and there is a big possibility that won't happen even in the fall. For example, some professors are switching to a pass-fail grade system, but what about students who get lost in this switch to virtual learning? Maybe I will, you know, start by saying um, that at independent colleges, what we're trying to make sure is that students have the kind of support services they need to thrive. Whether they are learning face-to-face -face or whether they are learning online and remotely, it's important that they have the services they need to be able to thrive. And so as we are considering going back to teaching, we're also thinking about those kinds of support services that the students will need to thrive. And I think every part of the industry is trying to think about those kinds of matters and not simply just putting a course online and hoping students do the best. Those additional supports will continue to be offered throughout our educational system. Yeah. And if I could just piggyback on that, um, Joanne, um, what we've all tried to do is provide the best sort of um, online support, not only academically, but in terms of other um, uh, support services, uh, whether it's tutoring, whether it's advising, whether it's mental health services that we can no longer provide um, on ground right now. And I, th I think collectively, we've all done a great job in making that transition. Um, and as we move forward, um, we're going to have to continue to provide those services and look to the most vulnerable um, to, um, to to even provide that to a greater extent. So it's clearly on all of our collective radar screens. You know, I've met with a number of students uh, in, and uh, to a person, I asked them this question, which has been the more difficult adjustment for you, the academic adjustment or the social adjustment to being online? And every single student so far has said that that it's been the social adjustment and to the points that Joanne and Mark made, you know, our full array of mental health services are still being provided, but virtually it's difficult to do. We've also uh, introduced some, some new approaches. We have a, an initiative called You Kindness, which uh, pairs up uh, volunteers to provide social support, from, mostly from the alumni base. Uh, to connect to students, and, and that's been adopted uh, widely by students and by alums, and both seem to value it greatly. So, you know, we have to be creative in approaching this, and, and uh, you know, all learners are different, and the idea is to try to be as flexible and as accommodating as we can and supportive. Well, 